Welcome back. Uh, thank you for watching all of those videos. We are very close to the end, don't worry. If we've done it for real, it's about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, but as you've seen, there is a lot to take in. So feel free to go back and revisit them uh, at, at later dates. We've got some general hints and tips now, stuff that is generic every year. Um, and then we'll finish off with what is going to happen after exam results day. Um, so, session six. Um, it's already up and running. There's a timetable on the school website, as there always has been. Um, it's really good, really engaging. Get that extra tweak on what you've learned, uh, as well as pushing to other things, extensions, uh, and just having a teacher there in smaller numbers normally to ask for help. Parent tip. To, if your student is going to session six, that is brilliant. If your student is going to the easier session six, for example, they really enjoy textiles, they're already predicted an eight or nine in textiles, they've nearly finished their coursework, why are we going there for that when we're only predicted a three in maths? Because we don't really like maths very much. Well, session sixes are often with different teachers uh, and therefore time to attack our weaknesses. Okay, there is no point running from them. We don't have enough time to, to waste now. So be tactful with your session six selections. Second one is, um, <laughs> some of you may be familiar with this, um, it is organization. Okay, um, revision is hard. It, do it in small chunks sometimes. Do it in subject, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, three different subjects, ha whatever suits you. We put the mocks on on purpose so that people can practice and try and see what suits for them. Um, Mr. Bridgman says you must tidy your room. If your room looks like that, even now, you need to sort that out. It's not conducive, okay? You don't want to be working in, a, in an environment like that. It will just, too many things to fidget with, etc. So, job one after tonight's video is go and tidy your room, okay? Um, Having that workspace is really important, especially if we end up getting people locked down or year groups locked down, etc. Um, you may find yourself in that environment for four, five, six hours a day. It, we really need to be organizing ourselves. And our phone, do we need our phone on while we're working and revising? No, because chances are you check it every two minutes, every time it pings with another chat. Okay, if you all decide on your group chat, see you in an hour, brilliant. Nobody message for an hour do some work, and then have a five minute message break and go back to it, okay? Leave the phone downstairs, leave it in a sock, leave it somewhere else with a parent, come back and get it 20 minutes later. Make those tactics, it will make the difference. Homework, homework still comes thick and fast. Two ways to look at it. Number one is the Sims app. Hopefully parents have it, students can get it. If you need it downloading, just contact us, we'll send you out the link. Okay, really nice to just check up on what's being done. I haven't got any homework. Well, you have, app says so. Um, and then you'll also hear the words Teams, Microsoft Teams, and emails. Okay, so especially if we're not in, students should be checking Teams and emails definitely, and also keeping an eye on the app. Okay, they are told in lessons what their homework is, it's no surprise, but as we know, we do forget sometimes. So keep a track on that uh, and make sure we're on top of it. I mentioned before exam timetables and uh, mock exams. Uh, obviously you'll get those before October half term. Um, what I would ask for you parents and students is to make sure we have this stuff. So a scientific calculator, but it can't have Wi-Fi functions. There was a phase when loads of them did, not many of them do now, okay? When it comes to black pens, we're talking black biro pen by like this many, okay? Ask Santa for a million of them, okay? Because why would you just take in one? And the amount of students I see in going to an exam with like a half chewed pen and the inside, it's, it's rubbish, okay? Take in five or six pens, blue, black, pencil, ruler, etc. be ready, okay? And have them in a clear pencil case, okay? And if you want a drink, that's fine. It's water, again, in a clear container. Get those things prepped and ready in your bag, good to go. If, if we're asking for iWatches for Christmas, that's lovely, wow, what a massive, impressive gift. However, they're not allowed anywhere near exams, neither are phones, okay? Every year I say the same thing, no phones, no phones, no phones, and every year somebody forgets, leaves it in their pocket, whatever, and, and, it, and it's bad times, okay? So um, please ask Santa for this stuff, or even earlier, um, and make sure they're ready to go. That's kind of it for information giving in terms of um, 
between now and the results in the summer. What is also important, I know we've asked a lot of you already, is to worry about what happens then. What is gonna happen in September 2021 onwards? And Mr. Parsons is gonna take over now, finish off the, uh, the evening or the event, um, and just make sure you've got half an eye on that at the same time. Thank you once again for your time um, in watching all the presentations this evening. I'm gonna talk a little bit about post 16 now and, and specifically <coughs> Sawtree. Mr. Carpenter, head of sixth form, has started to visit year 11 in tutor time this week. So please do ask your son or daughter about the conversations that they've had and the information that Mr. Carpenter has, has been giving them. So we've been trying to do everything because normally is what we should be with, uh, with students in, in year group bubbles. November the 12th, look out for details to come on our virtual sixth form open evening. And the most important message I can give to you is information is, is king, especially at this time when you're not able to physically visit us or visit elsewhere in terms of most people doing these events virtually please do keep this date to to one side so that even if if sorcery isn't at the top of your list at the moment please do make sure that you you are able to hear everything we've got to say about our sixth form this year, uh, close to 100 students from year 11 came back into our year 12, our, our biggest year group for, for some years. Uh, many factors in, in that, not just the success of the sixth form, the pastoral care that has been given to our students over, over five, five years. Although we didn't get to sit exams this year, year 13 didn't get to sit them, we still have maintained outstanding outcomes over the last few few years not just outcomes in terms of examination results, every other, every other facet of our, of our sixth form that we're extremely, extremely proud of. So once again, please do listen out for details that will be on our social media. We'll email them out about that, about that um, open evening. As I mentioned at the start, and as Mr. Bridgman has said, if you have any questions over the coming days or week, please do just drop us an email directly to the Academy email or to a, to a member of staff and we will, we will get back to you as, as soon as we can. Thank you ever so much for your support once again and we look forward to a really successful year with Year 11. Thank you.